Hi everyone. How are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Welcome back to my channel. Like always, today I'm going to discuss some topic that will make you wonder about the advanced technology of the past. I got this on various telegram channels. Please check the description to know more about the channels. Some might say that I'm being repetitive by discussing this. But that's the whole point. This is proof that a small occult elite <laughs> the history to fit their narrative. Anyway, I also have a telegram channel. There, I will share various information that I cannot share here. Don't forget to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel, the link is also in the description box below. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. Take a good hard look at the scene here. What was the discourse like? What did they talk about? What did they see each other as? The humans more than likely saw the giants as gods in a certain sense. A higher power. The giants were probably a lot smarter than humans as well. It may be reasonable to believe that they had total dominion over humans at one point. Theoretically, there is an infinite number of things the giants can do with the humans given the right circumstances. They could use them for everything under the sun. The humans were essentially servants under the giants. The giants would obviously be the rulers. Maybe that's where we got the saying your highness, or a man of a higher status, or stature. It is quite obvious where we're going with this. Were humans domesticated or possibly even created specifically to serve a higher power? Keyword is high, which may have been originally literal. Think about this. If humans are supposed to be the higher power over all other creatures like the Bible says, why do we always look to higher power ourselves? Even when religion is taken from a civilization, they just look to the next highest power, which is worse, the state. Ask yourself this. If you wanted to raise cattle to slaughter, how would you do it if the cattle were a lot smarter? Here's the answer. You would create propaganda for them to keep them contained. Ideally, you would even make them like it. And what better method to pull this off than with religion? Before I continue the video, please give a like if you'd learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. The right photo, is a sculpture standing on the square near the station in Barabajan, administrative center of the Jewish Autonomous Region, a city in the far east of Russia. Left photo, fresco from Egypt. The right one is an electric lamp, but not as a separate element, but a symbol. Kind of like a micro-circuit, but in the form of an electric lamp. Something like a pendulum transformer with straightening and modulation in the form of a module. There are even contacts to install in the system above. On the fresco from Egypt, it was connected, and on the left, this is a separate element. And this is not a Jewish symbol, modern Jews privatized it, as well as many other symbols of the past culture. The largest hotel in the world, 10,000 rooms currently under construction in Saudi Arabia. It's crazy. Once you understand that these structures are technology, you can't unsee it. Cities just look like colossal circuit boards to me now. In fact, even nature's changed. All I see now is melted rocks, mining waste, and petrified tree stumps, while hills have become mounds hiding alluring secrets, and lakes and once mighty trees have been reduced to mere puddles and weeds. Every church or higher building could have been or still is a free energy collector. Energy we now have to pay for. The interesting print by John Bachman portrays the New York Postbellum as Imperial City, 
in whose skies levitate unknown objects. The aircraft reminded me the drawings of the secret society Nimza, connected to the Sonora Aero Club. Their aircraft were called errands, and levitated through the rotation of objects. One of the principles of levitation is the action of a force that, in addition to cancelling the weight of the object, counteracts the pull of another one, plus a smaller stabilizing force. Sunken Roman Town of Baia, Italy Baia was an ancient Roman town situated on the northwest shore of the Gulf of Naples, and now in the commune of Bacoli. It was a fashionable resort for centuries in antiquity, particularly towards the end of the Roman Republic, when it was reckoned as superior to Capri, Pompeii, and Herculaneum, by wealthy Romans, who built villas here from 100 BC to AD 500. It was notorious for its hedonistic offerings, and the attendant rumors of corruption and scandal. The lower part of the town later became submerged in the sea, due to local volcanic, bradyseismic activity. This seems to have occurred in two phases. First between the 3rd and 5th centuries, still in the late imperial era, followed by a more substantial submersion during the 8th century. Recent underwater archaeology has revealed many of the fine buildings now protected in the submerged archaeological park of Baia. What do you think? Cervantes, this is the name given to the living stones by the locals. After it rains, they begin to increase in size. In the course of time, they develop sprouts, and when they gain mass, they break off from their mother rock and begin to live on their own. Their shape is round, and they often do not differ much from ordinary stones. They have a sandstone structure and a hard core, around which there are rings similar to those we see in trees. A stone weighing only a few grams can grow to a ton. Scientists have no way to explain this phenomenon, although it has existed for quite some time. Despite the fact that there are many theories that life can be based not only on carbon but also on silicon, science continues to ignore Trevantes. What do you think about this video? Please like and share this video if you like it, so that more people are aware of what is happening in this world. Before I end this video, let's say thank you to everyone who took the time and energy to research this, they have done a lot for us all. Please subscribe to watch the next upcoming videos. Thank you for watching the video until the end, I hope this information is useful for all of us. See you in the next video.